And now to our discussion segment. The whole idea of the new 10-year national automotive policy is to bring it up to date with current realities. Also, it, is a put, uh, it will put our auto industry on the proper footing. I have joining me right now the COO of uh, Gen Motors, Oluwe Mimo Osonikmi. Many thanks for joining us, uh, Oluwe Mimo. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, thanks for being on the show. Uh, let's look at uh, this new policy by the federal government. Now, the new approved NAIDP is aimed at enabling the exponential increase in the local production numbers of vehicles, uh, reaching 40% local content, attaining 30% locally produced electric or electric vehicles, uh, generating 1 million jobs. That's a very high order. But how feasible is this, uh, Webimo? Uh, yes, the, the new plan looked aggressive compared to, to the plan that was in place since 2013. But when you look at those, those indices, when you look at the objective that the new plan tends to achieve, let's take them one by one. The 40% uh, local content, content, this is achievable. Because when you look at the, the, the parts that make vehicles, the body, the seat, the tire. We can do most of these things in Nigeria. We only need that encouragement and we need more investment in that area. Why should we be importing tire into Nigeria? Why should we be importing brake part? Why can't we do the body work? We have the metal and every other thing that needs, needed to be put in place or to, 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 to put together to make a vehicle. Why should we do this one outside the country? Especially, why do we do the seats outside the country? So all these ones are part of what, well, if we put them together and next the resources we have within, we can achieve the 40% uh, local content. In the, well, let's move to, to electric vehicle. Electric vehicle, when you look at the, the, the most expensive parts of any electric vehicle is the battery. So when you take out the battery, the other part, when you put other things together, they are not that uh, expensive again. Then, take battery, for example. We have the lithium. We have lithium in commercial quantity the, in, in, in Nigeria. We have the deposits in commercial quantity in Nigeria. If we invest in production of battery alone, we have done, we are, we are almost as if in that 40% local content in, in, in production of uh, electric vehicles. So that one also is achievable. Uh, let's move to one million uh, job creation. When you look at the direct job and the indirect job, one million is even a side play. We can do far, far more than that. And I believe, though it's aggressive, is 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 uh, what we need for is about the action we put into the plan. It's, uh, it's aggressive, really, but we can achieve it. I think it's it's achievable. All right, fine. I, 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 I get your point, uh, Wemimbo, but let me still talk about the electric vehicles for, for one minute before we move on to other issues. 30% um, locally produced electric vehicles. So far, what are we producing in terms of electric vehicles? Uh, you talked about um, having um, lithium in abundance um, here in the country, but how have we been able to allocate resources and also manage same, uh, judging by um, the body language of um, the government and what we have or, or we have had over time? Yes, yeah, so the, the electric vehicle production truly is quite expensive compared to what um, to compared to ICE, that is uh, internal combustion engine vehicles. So the the cost really is high, but currently what what Nigeria produces most currently is uh, by, uh, by, uh, by, um, uh, what I call uh, not vehicle in particular, but as of today, we in our, in our company, we have launched the bus, we have launched other work, and we are going to launch many other uh, electric vehicle pro, uh, uh, products. But again, in Nigeria, a lot of other initiatives are there, tricycle are there, Bicycles are there. You go to some parts of the east, some parts of the north. You see people using a lot of tricycle, electric vehicle manufacture right here in Nigeria. So in Nigeria, now a lot of effort is going into manufacturing of tricycle. While some other people are focusing, like us, we are focusing more on 
the, the, the motorcycle, the buses, the, 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 the mini buses, the, the bigger ones, and all these commercial buses, and we believe in future, when we commit more funds, it's, it's, as if it's something we show that Nigeria can achieve a lot in this regard. All right, uh, 10 years is actually a long time, um, Wemimo, and uh, the new plan is from 20 this year to 2033, but let's examine that of 2013. And the federal government said this new policy is an improvement of the under 2013 automotive industry development plan, uh, which was in place before. If you were to access or to assess it rather, how far would you, how far would you say that we uh, have come from there and uh, were we able to achieve most of the plans that we had in the last um, 10 years before moving on to the next? Yes, I, I would say NADDC, the, the government arms that is uh, involved in, in implementing the plan, that is NA, that is National Automotive Development uh, Industry Plan. So this, this, this plan is what we are put together. That is the industry plan we are put, to get, put together by NADDC. Their goal is to ensure the implementation. But unfortunately, they have not achieved a lot. And I'm sure that's why we are having a new plan in place. So the new plan is building on the existing one. Like the existing one has some objective. And the, the objective is to encourage local production and increase the, the percentage of local content. This is being achieved. Even though we are not at, at the rate envisioned 10 years ago, but I think we are moving toward that. Then we, part of it is to uh, stimulate value creation. When we say value creation, that is for the, the, the one enacted, the one approved in 2010. Value creation, a lot of things, a lot of value creation move around or surround that uh, automotive industry. Just as I mentioned, there are a lot of things that are associated with it. So we need to also start emphasizing this. So in this area, we have not done much also. But having looked at the old plan generally, it's good that we have started, it's good that we are pushing it. And uh, uh, in the last few years, NADDC has done a lot in, in improving or building or implementing what was in the plan. And I'm sure based on what they have, their experience, the, the experience they've had in the last uh, few years, that was what informed the new plan now. And this new, the old plan did not make much uh, uh, impact or did not say much concerning electric vehicles. But this new plan now is coming and explaining and putting more uh, investment into electric vehicles. They, 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 they are looking at that. And again, they said they want to enforce. The, the, the existing plan did not enforce local patronage, especially patronage by the government. Is there is they encourage uh, uh, government patronage, but now they are saying they want to enforce it. I think the little little to say this here and there will make the, 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 the plan work better. All right, uh, let's uh, examine some of the things that the minister believes that uh, will come out of all of this. Uh, he actually believes that the Minister of Trade uh, believes that um, uh, this new uh, policy or plan will strategically provide outstanding competitive fiscal and non-fiscal incentives are needed by the automotive industry manufacturers, producers, investors, developers, and of course, relevant stakeholders. Do you agree and how can this uh, be achieved? Uh, yes, uh, even though the details of that policy have not been released, the, the, but based on what the, 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 the president, the uh, minister for trade said, if you are looking at, we've been asking for a lot of uh, uh, initiative in this regard, especially regarding the fiscal and non-fiscal policies put in place to encourage uh, manufacturer, encourage investor. Because if, they are, if you don't have all these plans, if you don't have this incentive in place, a lot of people will not want to, because investors want to put their money where they know the, the return will, will be good for them. So if you have incentive, the incentive may increase your return. When you look at those incentives, it encourages more people to invest in it. So let's see, let's wait and see what they want to do. But I emphasize, 
they are going to work on uh, duty. How can they come up with a good, good duty regi re regime that will encourage manufacturing of vehicles in Nigeria? They will come up with VAT, VAT uh, taxation. How are they going to use tax to encourage this? These are the things we are expecting them to initiate or explain further in the policy when the, 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 the policy is finally released to the public. But I believe if all these incentives are put in place, certainly it's going to aggressively position Nigeria and improve the economy of Nigeria. All right, let's compare with other countries, uh, specifically in terms of uh, production, uh, usage, and appreciation of um, electric cars, or even assembling as it is. Uh, are we lagging behind? Some people seem to believe that. And uh, what is your advice uh, moving forward? Because I know Nigerians are uh, one of the people that, uh, or we are one of the people that, you know, drive or appreciate uh, uh, luxury in terms of um, cars and the good life. But so far, how have we come in terms of um, electric um, vehicles? Generally, in the automotive industry, we always say we are we are not moving as fast as expected. Like, for, compare us to a country like South Africa. The, the South Africa, currently South Africa is moving around 6%, 7% contribution, that is automotive industry contributing to GDP. And when you compare that to Nigeria, we are far, far, far behind. This can be improved upon. So again, in time of numbers, a, 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 lot, a lot of, uh, for example, in South Africa, they manufacture a lot of vehicles locally compared to what Nigeria manufacture locally. For example, the installed capacity of the assembly plants in the African is about 450,000. But how many are we manufacturing annually? It's, it's about 10 to 15,000. So, which means the, 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 the percentage of what we are doing compared to installed capacity is very, very low. And again, compared to what in number, in absolute number, what South Africa is doing, we are far from. What are the possible. reasons? What are the reasons for this um, low figures, really? What are the reasons? A lot of things contributed. Number one, as I mentioned, the, 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 the duty regime, the duty that favor implication of fully new mm. where, where, where the, 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 the import duty on the fully new value is almost the same thing as the duty you pay. Or when you bring in SKD or CKD, it is it is all this all this parts that make up it. It will encourage production. And again, the cost of man, the, the cost of production in Nigeria is so high because you talk of power, you talk of access to form. Sometimes you go to commercial bank, for example, commercial bank now charge as high as twenty five to thirty percent. Nobody can borrow money from commercial bank and put it in the automotive industry and come out with, with, with profit. Again, what we, we, we mentioned what uh, the new the new the new uh, plan was was trying to achieve. The new plan was to enforce local patronage. The local if, if there is no local patronage, are we going to produce what is not going to sell? Because by the time we don't have that competitive advantage in time of price. The one, the people that bring fully goods in can sell at lower price. Than right, that right. So that makes it a bit difficult for people to patronize you. Right. When you have excessive patronage, it, it discourages people. So these are part of the reasons why uh, uh, Nigeria industries is lacking behind. I right, thank you so much. Uh, we've been speaking with him. Um, uh, when Mimo or Sonic Bia, uh, he is the CEO of Jet uh, Motors. Thanks for your time and, of course, all the wonderful input you have brought on this particular discourse. Thank you for having me on your program. All right. As we go today, empowering Nigerians for the demand of workplace in several lines will reduce the unemployment rate, especially among the youths. This was the position of a group at its one day work skills employability and entrepreneurship program. I'll leave you with details of that report, and I'll see you again tomorrow. My name is Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for watching. Bye for now.